Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building four motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and four Nissan Neves. And this is episode 32. Sponsored by our wonderful Patreon patrons team. Thank you very much guys for your help. If you would like to join us, just check the Patreon link below. You can get stuff like t-shirts, like uh, monster truck rides or uh, technical support with your own build. Last time we had a lot of fun with uh, hardly accessible bolts all around here. Now, and now we will continue dis uh, disconnecting the transmission. After we remove the engine, we are going to lift up this auxiliary frame above the above the chassis with all of this together. I keep it connected. I tie it up to the to the to the chassis here. Ah. Okay, it seems away from the brackets. When we lift it up, it will pass the transmission. And now the front air brake lines. And now the shifting mechanism for the transmission. English? We have to cut it. It's too rusty. So what is left is only the steering and all the main bolts that actually connects the chassis with the axillary frame. So let's unbolt it. I'm curious how rusty will be these bolts. The harder it is, the more fun we will have. And you too. I can't untie it, the gun is not strong enough and uh, the bar is bending. I have no way to unbolt it, I can just cut it. We'll get back to it, let's do the next one. Dobrý. Super. Neprstila. I don't know how to how to disconnect it. <coughs> I can't catch it here with anything. It's, it's I cannot get it loose. Everything is so tight in this Tatra. I'm trying to unbolt three bolts and none of them is going. This is even rustier. Okay. 
there is a rubber under it so if I heat it up it will burn or it will do so horrible smoke I will not see anything this is insane we'll try others and we'll come back to it so let's try the next bolts here are some security rings over here I don't know if you can see them It almost looks like it's glued. That is everything is pain on this Tatra. Everything. If I put gun on it, what do you think what will happen? Let's find out. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable! <laughs> we have first bolt that actually works. Wow, I'm surprised. Let's continue on this side. We will see how much work we will do today. Camera woman tries to tell me that everything gets wrong today. No, uh, everything gets very well <laughs> <laughs> because we know more and more about what we can't do. It seems like we will have a lot of cutting on this Tatra. which is my personal favorite. Wow! <laughs> Something is working today! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. So how many? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five of them are no, three of them yes. That's big success today. We try last attempt. This bar is in the way. That's the problem. So it's kind of sideways. <sighs> mm -mm. Okay, next time. See you next time. So the front is done. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go to the back. So I think we'll try, we'll try to get these shock pins out. And we have a helper here, our editor here. That's the person who makes the videos for you. You should praise him. Can you believe it? I broke the weld here. <laughs> That's crazy. I broke the weld. Let's hit it a couple more times and it will be free. Okay, we'll cut it later. And now we will try impossible. We will try to unbolt these bolts that hold the frame with the cross member of the chassis. Let's do it. Wow. We made it. Amazing. That's what you do when your hose is too too long and you make it shorter that way. <laughs> Everything starts going well when the uh, 
when the editor <laughs> when the when our video editor came here that's because of him i will give him some wrench and go to lay down somewhere in in the shade this is so strange this one goes easily out I have one and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> we have only two bolts left on the back. Awesome! And the second side. Done, the last one on the back. Okay, another done. Last one is there. Awesome. So everything on the back is disconnected. We can just lift it up. And now the best is in front. Let's go back to it. One last attempt to unscrew those bolts peacefully. No peace today. That's it, that was easy. Only what is left are these two shocks on this side, on another side over here. I am going to cut them here. And this one bolt over here. And then just the steering and everything will be disconnected so let's go the most of it is cut now we uh, will try to break it now We have it disconnected and only the shocks are left. I think I can be able to get it out if I remove this rubber and then cut it off with this big grinder. Hopefully I will reach all the way to the shaft. I don't know how far I got, 
We'll see. Yes, get so. Okay, I don't have Sozo, I'm probably going to buy one because I cannot reach it with the biggest grinder. <clears throat> if I heat this up, I am going to burn it and I'm not even sure if, uh, if, it, if it will be possible. I have no way to cut it. I am going to buy a Sozo and I will cut it with Sozo. It means that we will do that next time. And now we will do the steering as the last thing we need to do. It didn't hold there at all. Unbelievable. That was easy. This Tatra surprises me all the time. Unbelievable. And that's finally all for today. Please consider to become our Patreon. We need your help with this channel. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode because we are going to remove all of this from the chassis. See you on Tuesday and thanks for watching.